Hello, hello, good, good evening. Welcome to our English class. It's a pleasure to have you here. I know that you are always on time, and I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a great time for all of us to to be ready and also practice in the class. That's uh, something that we have in our mind. Always like have the chance to to show us that we can do to show that we are ready to learn and maximize our English skills. And I know that um, part of the, in some part of the countries it has been raining. Um, in Christmas is like a little um, not so common, but we actually expect to to enjoy this time and also taking a short time to practice English. I mean, there's not an excuse not for being like practicing. We always learn every day with the with our classmates, you know, with people watching television, reading studying online, books. So we have a huge, huge um, amount of resources that we have for practicing. So let's begin our class today. And we have a great topic to share. And also because we have been developing different exercises the last, the last classes. So I'm pretty sure that we will take advantage of all this. Okay, so before that will start, before that will start, I just want to ask you, what do you remember we studied? ¿Qué se acuerdan que estudiamos? What do you remember? Can you help me with that? Yes? What do you remember we studied? ¿Qué estudiamos? Okay. I remember uh, we studied comparative adjectives. Ah, muy bien. Excellent. Yes, we started that one. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más se acuerdan? ¿Qué más se recuerdan? Yes. Okay, let's continue with the next topic. We actually are in the section number four. Uh, this section is called a uh, delay wrap, right? That is a question. And remember that we finished the, the half of this course and we will continue with some other topics to, to develop. Vamos a ver. Um, y tenemos acá lo que es, we have this section. Uh, Gerson, can you help us to read the general objective for this course, for this? Yes. The, uh, the general objectives. Yes. Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation expressing like and dislikes. Excellent. Thank you. So we are talking about things we like, cosas que nos gustan, and things that we don't like, cosas que no nos gustan. And we have some information here. We have this question. Hey, do you like rap? And also we can see the music sales. Check this out. Look at this. Music sales in the United States. And of course, that the preferences of music perhaps have changed because, you know, new music is evolved. Nueva música está cambiando. Hay música que, pues, que antes no estaba, hoy está. Music that has improved. So there are a lot of things that maybe are different. And look at this, what we have here in this chart. Also, we have rock that is 25%, and others like 16%. Classical music is 3%, just 4%. Gospel music that is the 7% is good. It's a good uh, number. Rap music is 14%. So that means 
according to this one, the rap was one of the most famous. Look at this. And the R and B is 11%. And that is like kind of general music, pop music and the country. Look how it says. And what other kind of music would you include in this list? ¿Qué otro tipo de música incluiría en esta lista? Salsa. Sorry? Salsa. Salsa music. Cumbia music. Bachata in. Bachata. Re reggaeton. Reggaeton. Okay, maybe reggaeton, of course. Oh, people hip -hop. Can, hip hop. Also, people can call trap, the trap music. You can see Dari Yankee's music. Um, well, time ago, um, there were not many Latin American people living in the United States. Now, a lot of Latin American people live there. So that's why the music changes. Entonces, como hay bastantes personas latinas living in the United States, es como que ahora la música ya es un poquito más común allá, right? Entonces, we could include also reggaeton, salsa, eh, pop music. Um, Regional Mexican. Okay, Mexican, like in Texas. Papá, ¿qué es que la niña está abriendo los ojos? Mexican, what? Sorry? Eh, micrófonos ahí, por favor. Ok, so we, we have different kind of music. Y tenemos el primero. Which of these kinds of music are popular in El Salvador? Can you help me? Which, uh, which of these type of music are, you know, very famous in El Salvador? Rock and roll. Cumbia. 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 Cumbia, cumbia. <laughs> For December, right? For the parties. La fiesta de diciembre, you know the parties that people have, so la, la gente dice, vas a ir al cumbión. You know, and then they, people understand that there are some parties for that. ¿Qué, qué otro? Pero de las que están ahí, ¿cuáles son de las más comunes? O sea, las más eh, pop music. Pop music. Rock. Rock. Um, Rap. Rap music too. Yeah. And others. And others say several, several. More popular in our country. Mm. Other. Yeah. Others. All right. So, yeah, definitely that, that this kind of music, it's, you know, there are different. Uh, type of audience right there are other type of listeners not everybody will we have the same type of music also there is another kind of music that that is missing it is like romantic music but according to this one is new romantic music is missing too okay talking about a sabotor i have a question because we have this type of music but talking about a sabotor um what other kinds of music are popular in El Salvador? Cumbia, merengue, salsa. The, there is a, a type of music um, I, I dislike, but I, I only heard it is the... Um, Banda. Your oh, Mexican music. Yes, uh -huh. oh, that, that's Mexican music. Okay, yeah, there they are great uh, music bands are very famous in, in Mexico, so I know that. So I, I know people love that kind of music. Rocking in Spanish too. Rocking in Spanish. Rocking in Spanish in El Salvador. Um. Okay, so we can include it in, in the list. Yeah, I, I understand that. Okay. Yeah. 
we have the next activity and I want you to help me with that. A volunteer who can help me to read the instructions. Who says, me teacher, I want to do it. A volunteer. Uh, I am teacher. Thank you. Okay, uh, war power, uh, literal A. Complete the war map with war from the list. I read it all. Okay, classical games, shows, horror films, jazz, news, pops, salsa, science fiction, yeah. soap operas, talk show, thrillers, westerns. Continue? Yes, please. Okay, uh, literal B. Uh, two more words to each category than compare with our partners. Uh, literal C, groups were number the items in each list from I, July in the most. Top six, July in the last. Then compare your ideas. Uh, entertainment, movies, TV program, uh, music. Okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, so we can we can definitely uh, check here the examples to look at uh, the part of this. When we have entertainment, we have TV programs, we have music and movies. There are like categories that we had to select. So, so we had to complete the word map with the words from the list. What do you think goes with uh, classical? What about game shows? Usted va a categorizar según las categorías que están ahí. Así que les voy a dar un minutito para que ustedes lo puedan hacer. And also, it's recommendable to add more than um, two words uh, to each category. So if you say, you know what, I have two other categories that I would like to include in movies, you can include the two. Uh, I have two other TV programs that I would like to include. You can include it. I have two other words that are related to the category of music, so you can include them too. Uh, so definitely we can, we can do that. Okay, let's go.
Teacher. Hi, tell me. Yes. I have a question. ¿Qué significa West, Western? Es la última. I'm sorry, I had the microphone off. <laughs> okay, so it, we're talking about, um, when we're talking about Western, we're talking about uh, different minutes. Uh, the word Western is como occidental. Uh, Cuando hablamos cerca de occidental, right? That's that's the meaning about Western. Also, there is a kind of music too that we can um, mention about Western, como del occidente. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, uh, soap operas. Yeah, no, I, I was always checking that. Yes, it's a kind of, it's a kind of serious. It's like American are serious. In Mexico, they call soap operas are very famous. Mexican soap operas are very famous everywhere. So people love soap operas. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, socialize the answers we have together. So completely short. And what about movies? What can you tell me about movies? Give me some ideas about movies. And so we can compare with the ones we have. The movies. Yes, movies. Movies. Um, for example, Titanic. movies. Um, movie Titanic. But but using the vocabulary, also the, yes. the oh, okay. thing. Horror mm. films. Romantics. Science Horror fiction. films. Science fiction. fiction. Thrillers. Western. Mm. Geographic. Okay. Documentaries. Documentaries. Okay, documentaries. Okay, docu we can include documentaries too, of course. Another uh, will be comedy, action. Action, comedy. Okay. Nice. What else? Romantic. Romantic. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, what about T programs? What can you tell me? So, what can you socialize about this? TV programs? Yes, what do you have for TV? Okay, and uh, TV programs, gay show, news. Talk shows, the sport and weather. Reality show. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, reality shows, yeah, I know. They are very famous, the uh, reality shows too. What else? Mm -hmm. Sports. Sports, okay, sports. Yeah, to top shop sports, sports shows also. Films. Uh huh. Yep. And also the soap operas. Soap operas, yes. 
<laughs> yeah, they're very famous. I know. Yes. Uh, yes. Do, you, do you watch soap operas? I dislike. Oh, do you like? No, no, I dislike. I don't like. <laughs> you, don't, you don't like it. Just give me one second, please. Uh, just give me one second. Okay. Okay. Okay, and also people people love a lot of soap operas and people they especially you know there are some famous soap operas from different places. Okay, what about the music? Tell me about music. Classical, jazz, pop, salsa, cumbia, merengue, electronic, electronic too. Rock. Uh -huh, yes. Fantastic. What else? Rock. Heavy metal. Country music. Country music too? Yeah, country. Yeah, the, the new tendency of music. I know that. I love it too. One string, country music, country. And gospel music. Do you like gospel music? Mm, yes. 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 Okay. Yeah, I love gospel. It's okay. Okay, so that is uh, something important about that. Okay, let's continue with the next exercise. Uh, congratulations for the practice. And uh, I really love that. Look at this conversation here. Look at this conversation. So I want you to check the following part of that. And look at that. Please uh, don't forget to have the microphone also off if we're not uh, participating actively. Okay, look at this. Uh, check this conversation. I really like pop music. Do you like rap, please? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Eminem. I think I know him. Does he play the piano? The piano? No, he doesn't. He's a singer. Oh, I guess uh, I don't know much about rap. So what kind of music do you like? I really like pop music. Who's your favorite singer? Celine Dion. I love her voice. Do you like her? No, I don't. I don't like pop music very much. So they are talking about two famous artists. Uh, have you heard of Eminem? Have you heard of Eminem? Yeah, I know. Uh, what, what, what do you know? Where, where is he from? United States. Oh, the United States. What kind of music does he sing? He's rap. It's a rap music. It's right? rap music. Okay. Yes. yes. Do you know the name of a famous son of Eminem? Yeah, I know. Uh, a Miles. Ah, okay, yeah. By the way, there was a movie called A Miles. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so I think it's like very famous in 2000. Uh, it was, was very famous in that time, 2000, with some other rappers in the United States. So rap is very, very, very famous in the United States. A lot of great uh, rap singers. And Eminem is one of them. And what about Celine Dion? Do you remember about Celine Dion? Do you... Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. She. Yeah. She's a great, uh, great singer. I like her voice. It's amazing. Uh, do you yes. know a famous son of Celine Dion? I don't remember. My heart will go on. My heart will go on. Yeah. That's right. Yes, yeah, she, she was uh, very, very famous. I, I, I like that. And do you know where is she from? Yeah, she's from Canada. Canada. Is, she's... Yes, she's Canadian. Yeah, she's mm -hmm. Canadian. That's right, she's from Canada. I thought, I, I thought she was from the United States, but she's from Canada. So that is great. 
and also her voice is fantastic. For me, it's one of the best uh, singers, you know, especially um, what, what kind of music does she sing? Uh, what kind of music does she sing? She's uh, romantic music. Ah, uh, romantic music. Yeah, romantic music. Yeah, it is very, very interesting to know that. All right, so let's continue. After talking about these uh, amazing singers, everything that we just listen, we respect the singers. We also respect the, the genre. You know, that's one of the ways. Bien, tenemos un tema que se llama el yes, no, and daily equations we do and does. Si ustedes se recordarán, cuando vieron el tema en básico, estudiamos un poquito el uso del do y el dasen. ¿Se acuerdan? El das y el do. Entonces, cuando hacíamos preguntas en el presente simple, era de ley que nosotros utilizáramos el do o el das. Por ejemplo, ¿dónde vives? Where do you live? Do you like music? Do you play video games? Do you travel? Do you go to the gym? Do you study? Do you read? So, ¿se acuerdan de todas esas oraciones? And also questions using the do and does, right? Decíamos que el do lo usábamos para los primera y segunda persona y los plurales. Y el does y el es la para las terceras personas. Does she dance? Does he travel? Does he play? Does she go? Does Daniel study English? Does Peter go, go to the gym? So we use some examples like that, right? Esto es como un pequeño review. Y pues veamos el, el, la primera oración. La vamos a pedir a Noé, Alberto, que nos lea las oraciones que están acá. Se las voy a encerrar aquí. Aquí. Léanos estas oraciones, Noé. Con gusto. Do you like rap? Yes. I do, I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Thank you so much. So you can see here the example, does he play the piano, so you have uh, a short answer. Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Yes, he does, no, he doesn't. Yes, she does, no, she doesn't. Yes, they do, no, they don't, right? So, vemos ahí. Y vamos con las siguientes. We have the next ones. And let's see. Andrea Esmeralda, help me to read the next. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Who do they like? They like you too. Thank you. So you can see here the, the examples that we have um, using do and does that as part of the review. And also we have the object pronouns. So I just want to uh, remember you the use of the object, the object pronouns. And I just want to ask you, ustedes se acuerdan? Se acuerdan ustedes? I need your help because it's important to remember uh, what is uh, the function of the object pronouns. Who wants to help me to answer? ¿Cuál es la función de los de, de un object pronoun? Eh, posesión. Demuestra la pertenencia. Uh -huh. Okay, as we understand about the object pronouns. It's important to say that an object, um, an object pronoun has a very valuable part in a statement. An object pronoun also called objective pronoun functions as the object of a verb or preposition as a distinguished from a subject 
or subject pronouns. So it's important to use it como un objeto, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos ahí me, que sería me, ¿verdad? Eh, you, him, her, it, us y them. Como los ejemplos. Llamarme, call me. Eh, invítame, invite me. Tell you, decirte, contarte, call you. Llamarte. Take you. Him, her, para ella, it, para ello, us, para nosotros. Invítanos, invite us, llámanos, call us. Tráenos, bring us. And them, para ellos también. Diles, tell them, llámalos, call them, invítalos, invite them. Entonces, los subject pronouns son muy importantes dentro de la estructura. Porque nos une dentro de una oración. Veamos el, los siguientes ejemplos. Vamos a hacer un, un pequeño review. Veamos acá el presente simple con el do y el das. ¿verdad? Que como veíamos como el ejemplo. Y tenemos un ejercicio que vamos a hacer con el uso de, de el do y el das. Vamos a ver. Complete this is, conversations and then practice. Vamos a ver, dice you you like science fiction movie. Um, lo que necesito que ustedes me digan cuál vamos a utilizar en el primero, do o does. Do. Do. Do you like? Entonces decimos que la respuesta es do, ¿verdad? Do you like science fiction movies? ¿Te gustan las películas de ciencia ficción? Yes, obviously. No, I I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Y lo hacemos de forma de contractions. No, I don't. I don't like. ¿Y cuál sería el object pronoun que, te, que utilizaríamos? I don't like it. Me. I don't like me. it. I don't like, like me. I don't like it. I don't like, like it. it. Porque como en este caso yo me estoy refiriendo eh, a la película de ciencia ficción entonces yo, no, yo voy a decir no me gusta en vez de, de no repetir ciencia ficción entonces ocupo un object pronoun y digo no me gusta entonces ahí hace el reemplazo la número dos eh, vamos con la número dos Jake and Lisa like soap operas do do uh, Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Do Jake and Lisa like soap operas? ¿Le gustan a Jake y a Lisa las novelas? I think Jake like. Ajá. Eh, like. like it. Like it. Podemos usar eh, das? ¿O no? ¿Qué dicen ustedes? Yes. Mm -hmm. En vez de decir he does, J does, right? Ok, entonces, of course, Carla does, o J, J, uh, J likes, J does. But I don't know about Lisa. Why don't you ask? Sure. Ajá, para decir, ¿por qué no le preguntas a ella? En vez de decir yes. eh, el nombre de ella, yo voy a utilizar un object pronoun y digo, why don't you ask her? ¿Por qué no le preguntas a ella? Muy bien. Vamos con la número tres. What? What does? Ajá. What can Ah, por ahí me dicen algo. ¿Cómo, cuál, cómo, ¿Cuál sería? ¿Cuál sería? Hello. Das. What does? Uh, Do. Pero no tendría sentido con of music. What kind? What kind? Podríamos utilizar what kind? Yes. Veamos. What kind of music? Music. ¿Cuál sería la otra? Like. Like it. Mm, no porque ya está like. Noriko en Ethan like. What kind of music? Do. 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 Exactly. What kind of music do? 
Noriko mm -hmm. and Ethan like. Nice. Entonces ahí me está diciendo qué clase de música le gusta a ellos. Mire qué, qué, qué interesante esto. Muy bien. Let's continue. And la siguiente sería, they love classical music. Noriko really likes yo-yo man. Y luego está, he play. Does he play? Does he play? Does he play? Does he play? Veamos, veamos. Uh, does. Uh, does he play? Um, the cello. I have his new CD. Podríamos poner también, what instrument does he play? Podríamos agregarle también. Tiene sentido. Also, that makes sense to me. That's, that's the way. Okay, so look at this. Look at this. Let's continue with the rest of the exercises we have here for today. It's un poquito más práctico. It says choose the right pronoun. Aquí usted va a utilizar exclusivamente el object pronoun. Va a ver la oración y va a ver cuál es la que nos hace falta. Se va a enfocar en la oración principal y de ahí va a elegir cuál sería el object pronoun. Is he marrying Leila? ¿Se está casando él con Leila? Yes. He is in love with. Entonces usted elige la respuesta correcta. Entonces yo le voy a dar estos minutos para que usted eh, responda. Y así aprovechamos a pasar la asistencia. Luego socializamos las respuestas. Ok. Bueno, entonces voy a, voy a actualizar la asistencia. Me permiten un momentito. Mientras ustedes completan el ejercicio. Ok, usted escucha su nombre y me dice presente, please. Eh, Adriana Gretel González. Adriana Gretel González. Agustín Alexander Santa María. Present. Thank you. Ok, let's continue. With Andrea Esmeralda Álvarez. Present. Araceli Esmeralda Ventura. Present. Carmen Andrea Santos Martínez. Carmen Andrea Santos. Eh, Claudia Jocelyn Rivas Arevalo. Present. Thank you. Denis Alonso Marinero Gutiérrez. Denis. Eh, Francisco Alexander eh, Villafuerte Flores. Present. Eh, Francisco Javier Orellana Ortiz. Eh, Freddy José Álvarez Escobar. Freddy José Álvarez Escobar. Eh, Gabriela Guadalupe Zamor España. Gabriela María Peña eh, Lón. Eh, Gerson Vinicio Moreno Funes. Present. Thanks. Eh, Glendy Elise, 
Elizabeth Flores Ramírez. Presente. Thank you. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jonathan Vladimir Salinas Alberto. Present. Thanks. Eh, Carla Liliana Portillo Constante. Eh, Carla Tatiana Villanueva Serrano. Presente. Eh, Catherine Yasmín Guatemala Arias. Present. Eh, Luisa Ariana Guerra Cáceres. Eh, Margarita Elizabeth Panameño Guzmán. Eh, Mayra Patricia Pérez de García. Present. Eh, perdón, perdón, una consulta. ¿Está Luis Ariana Guerra Cáceres? Luisa Ariana Guerra, no. Eh, present. ¿Qué? ¿Quién? ¿Quién dijo present? Luisa, Luisa Ariana. Gracias, Luisa. Eh, Merlin Jaciel Flores Reyes. Eh, Luisa, su micrófono. Eh, Nerlin Jaciel Flores. I'm here, present. Thank you. Noé Alberto Calzadilla Herrera. Presente. Wendy Patricia Chavarría Yara. Wendy Patricia. Okay, so let's continue with the exercises. All right, guys. So I think that, well, most of us, we are right here to, to practice with some statements together. Let's see what happened here with the following exercises we have. I think it's a, a kind of pretty piece of cake for all of you because we have developed these exercises. Okay, look at the first one. Um, is he marrying Layla? What do you think is the answer? What's the answer? Hair, hair for she. So the answer is with her, right? So I'm using hair. the capital letter to highlight the words. In este caso, pues, estoy utilizando letras mayúsculas como para resaltar la palabra. Yo sé que no es así, pero para darle aquí realce. Okay, so that's why I'm using capital letter. Your son is making a lot of noise. I ask him. Him. I ask him to be quiet. Le pediré que esté callado, que esté en silencio. Okay. Please, will you ask Robert to come in? Sorry, I don't know him. I don't know him. Yes, yeah, so in that case, I don't know him. That's right. And the next one. Uh, where are my glasses? Hmm. You are wearing. wearing it. Um, in singular? You're wearing it's, them. You're wearing them. them. You're wearing them. Okay. Imagine. Wearing them. No sé, ya, ya les ha pasado alguno, algo así? Yes. Oh, for example, when you don't know where your cell phone is, y no está mi celular, no he visto mi celular. Where is my cell phone? Y a veces no anda en la, en la bolsa. <laughs> oh my God, y usted hace el escándalo, ahí se me perdió. Y él revisa, ah, sí que lo tengo. So, that was like very common. It's because we're distracted or we're doing a lot of things that we forget about that. But anyway, ya me ha pasado a mí. Okay. Um, do you like apples? I love it. I love it. In plural? I love them. Love them. Yes, because we're talking about plural. Apples. apples. Yes, I love them. Because we're talking about apples. Oh, why is uh, he always talking about Lisa? Her. Like her. Her obvious like her. He uh, obvious like her. Uh, say with me, obviously. 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 He obviously likes her. He's in love with her, right? So he's in love with her. Coach, I have a question. I? Um, and like, lleva la S porque está hablando de tercera persona, ¿verdad? Exactamente, that's right. Okay. Gracias. Yes, 
obviously likes her. Yes, it's the third person in singular. And the last one, where's my book? It is. Yes. I, I, I will love it. I, I have I, lost it. Is it. The, is it the contraction, yeah? Yes, I have the, the verbo have. The pronunciation, I love it. 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 I it. Lo he perdido o lo perdí. I love it. So sad, right? Where is my book? Oh, se me perdió. Que no sé dónde está. Where is my book? Where is my stuff? So we are talking about that. And uh, that actually makes sense about this. Okay, look at the next exercise here. And we have another one. Is, is that Nancy's new friend? Or just the title of the article? Or the article, look at John. He seems so happy. What are you going to do with those old papers? Let's see the latest Spielberg movie. Spielberg. And how old, how are your kids? I haven't met. For ages. Have you met Alan and Tim? So I want you to think about this statement and also try to complete it using the object pronouns. And after that, we will socialize the answers. Así que completémoslo en este momento. Okay, are you ready? Yes, no yet? Yes. Okay, let's continue with that, right? So you asked me with the first one. We always, we're gonna use capital letter to highlight the word so you can see the, uh, the word in big. Okay, the first one. Is that Nancy's new boyfriend? Ask me, ask her. 
Okay. Don't ask me, ask her. Okay. That makes sense because you are talking about a third person that so you shouldn't be asking you so when you can ask her directly. <laughs> I, I try to understand the context of the statement here. Number two, what is the title of that article? What's the title of the article? I'm afraid I can't remember. Can't remember it. Yeah, because we don't know. I can't remember it. Okay, because we're talking about the article, right? Porque como estamos hablando del artículo, pues tiene que ser tercera persona singular. Entonces, me temo decirte que no no lo recuerdo. So I, I can't remember it. Number three, uh, look at John, he seems so happy. His friends offered. Offer him. Offer him. A for his birthday. Uh, a guitar. A guitar. friend offer him a guitar? Or is a okay? Guitar. Uh, for his birthday, okay. Sus amigos le ofrecieron, le, le, entonces sería him. Le ofrecieron una guitarra para su cumpleaños. Offer him a guitar for his birthday. Wow, good friends, right? They are good friends. Um, number four, or oh, the next one. What are you going to do with those old papers? I'm going to recycle them. Recycle? Recycle, recycle them. them. Recycle them. Okay, so I'm going to recycle them. I'm um, sorry, do you recycle? Students, do you recycle? Recycle. Yes. 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 Nice. Okay. Um, that's okay. I'm glad to know that. So it's important to recycle so we can help the planet to be better. So we can protect the planet. And number five, uh, let's see the latest Spielberg movie. I have already seen it. In Spanish, what's the meaning latest? The latest. latest. Uh, La latest. última. Gracias. Entonces sería, usted dicen que sería, I've seen it. ¿Sí? Seen it. Ok, entonces, seen it. Seen it. Ok, seen sería, it. yo ya lo he visto. Let's see the latest Spielberg movie. Veamos la última película de Spielberg. Ah, yo ya la vi. I have already seen it. Ya la he visto. Entonces, ya la he visto. Entonces vamos a ocupar it para completarla. The next one. Uh, how old, how are your kids? I haven't met. Met them for age. Como que no los he visto por años. Entonces sería met them, right? Met them. No los he visto. For age. For ages. 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 La palabra age sería años. Año y en plural es ages. Ages. Oh, okay. ages. ages. Entonces en inglés es como age, pero ya en plural cambia la pronunciación ages. Okay. So, have, ages. You, have you met Alan and Tim? ¿Has visto o te has reunido con Alan y Tim? No, I have never met us. us. Ahí sería met. Cuando en presente es con e, met. es meet. El pasado oh. es met. 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 I have, I have never Nunca met los them. he visto. Nunca me los he encontrado. Entonces sería I have never met. Them. Met them. them. Right. Ahí está. Miren. Entonces hemos utilizado los object pronouns. Porque esto no, nos habla sobre la persona o sobre el objeto si estamos usando it. Entonces, es una estructura bastante, bastante práctica. ¿Se recuerda? Y, eh, en the question, before question, eh, in, the, in the answer, it could be I haven't met them for years. Sí. Y, 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 right? 
Yeah, it's okay. It's right, it's okay. It's okay, right. It's okay, okay. Vamos a hacer un brainstorming antes de culminar esta clase. En este brainstorming, usted va a escribir en el chat, en este chat, diferentes oraciones que tengan que lleven un object pronoun. Así que vamos a ir revisándolas, usted las va escribiendo y vamos a ir viendo si están bien o si les cambiamos algo. Así que iniciamos en este momento. Okay. Es que vamos algunas. Tenemos I see you in class. Te veo en clase. Invite them. Invítalos a la fiesta. Y vemos que está la palabra them. Ok, veamos. Eh, todavía no, no hay oraciones, veamos las que vayamos agregando. Y sería, we are going to. Ok, we are going to. We are going to school. You can come with us. Muy bien, excelente. We are going to school. You can come with us. I like it. This, I like this class. Uh, sería, I like it. This Eat the nap. Eat the nap, ok. Cómelos. Muy bien, excelente, Carla. What else? What else? Okay, let's see. I see her every day. La veo todos los días. Okay, uh, look at the next statement. I love apples. I eat them every day. Me gustan las manzanas, las como todos los días. Entonces vemos ahí una oración utilizando el object pronouns. Muy bien. Invite me to a lunch too. Ok, tenemos ahí invite, invite me to a lunch. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más oraciones? Veo muy pocas. Ahí sería all you can... Sí, I'm sorry. Me, se, me, me comí la, la N por la... Okay. Ten, I... Right, All you right. can eat. All you can eat. Um, he de ver ahí donde lleva el object pronoun. Uh, do you use my cell phone? No, I'm, I'm not using it. Ajá, muy bien. Ahí estamos usando. I, I'm not using it. They're using. What are you going to do with those shoes? I'm going to give them away. Muy bien. Excelente, Frank. Ahí cambio. Y Claudia también. Okay, students, actually, it is definitely great. The last sentence, the last sentence. Las últimas, las últimas. We gave them the money. Muy bien, uh, Catherine, thank you. We gave them the money. So we're using the object pronouns. Y 
Y la otra es take it home, llévalo a casa. Ah, ok. Call me tomorrow, please. Muy bien, Luisa. That is another sentence too. Take it home too, right? Okay. Well, guys, we will continue tomorrow because of the time we are about to finish. And uh, so we will continue practicing with more examples using the, the object pronouns. She sees them on the bus. Okay, Catherine, thank you. That was a good sentence too. So we'll continue tomorrow with more ex examples. And also the time is up. So thank you so much for the practice, for the participation actively. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, have a beautiful night to all of you. And congratulations for the work done. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you. See you. Bye-bye.